Well, good afternoon, I go school. Now, there are many things that make I go school so special. And one of the things that even when it's so exciting, making sure that the I go way comes shining through. And as you remember, the I go way is very similar to the Patriot way. At IGO School, we talk about doing your best as a student, doing your best as a citizen, and doing your best as a friend every single day. I am so proud of all of you. Thank you so much for joining us today. It was 126 days ago that we last gathered here to celebrate with Mr. Kraft and Mr. Tippett and all the representatives from New England Patriots in the Play 60 Foundation where they gave us a check for $60,000 for our new kindergarten playground. We had a big challenge because before that time, we set a goal to make sure that the playground was done before the first, before the first day of school. And we were able to accomplish that. We have also added some things just today that truly makes the Play 60 I Go School Kids Zone Playground one of a kind. There is not another playground like this in the entire world. And we're so excited today to celebrate the official opening of that. Before we begin any further, what I'd like to ask you to do now is to please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. And we're going to have Ben Smith, Samira Sarin, Connor McNamara and Alana Rogers lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Great job, everyone. Thank you very much. Now, one of my favorite comments about our new playground was the second day of school. I went out there to see how the children were enjoying it. And one of the kindergartners came up to me, and they said, Mr. Stanton, this is the best park that I've ever been to. Not that it was just a playground. It was an actual park, because we have the benches out there, and we have so many activities. What I'd like to do, just take a quick moment to introduce to you some very important people who have come to us. We have Mr. and Mrs. Jack Othelet, Marge Othelet as well. They were friends with Mr. Vinny Igo and have a special bond with Mr. Igo. We are very fortunate. We are Mr. Igo. Our school's named after him. His daughter, Christine, and her husband, Jim, are here with us as well. We have Bill Keegan here, a town manager for Foxborough. And Representative Jay Barrows has come from the State Assembly. Thank you very much. Those you remember last time, Mrs. Vicki Lowe came and she brought 30 of her fantastically fit senior citizens and they helped us celebrate. We have Dr. Amy Burdos, our Assistant Superintendent of the Schools. The Vice Chair of the Foxborough Public Schools, Ms. Tina Bellinger. Thank you so much for coming today. We have the superintendent of schools, our true leader in all that we do here, Mrs. Debbie Spinelli. Thank you, Mrs. Spinelli, for joining us. And I'd like to take this opportunity to extend a special welcome and thank you to a special guest who's joined us today. He spent his entire career with the New England Patriots, and he has been actively involved in the organization ever since he retired. One of my all-time favorite players, he is a Hall of Fame linebacker, as well as the Executive Director of Community Affairs, Mr. Andre Tippett. Thank you, Mr. Tippett. And a gentleman that we know very well, and we are once again honored to have Mr. Kraft with us. For 20 seasons of ownership, Mr. Kraft has transformed one of the league's least successful clubs into what many observers view as a model NFL franchise. However, his success goes beyond the football field. 
He and his family have displayed their passion for giving back for more than four decades and have been one of the leading philanthropic families in New England. It is my pleasure to introduce you Patriots Chairman and CEO, Mr. Robert Kraft. Thank you. Thank you so much. I can't tell you, coming, I might not leave here all week till uh, next Sunday night, because last night uh, I had the pleasure until almost one in the morning to be in Kansas City. And unfortunately, the Patriots didn't do as well as I would have hoped. And uh, coming here and seeing your smiling faces and your great cheers really uh, reminds me what's important. And you know, you folks, are, you young children are very fortunate to go to this school. This school is named after a great gentleman by the name of Vin Igo. And I started coming here 43 years ago. He was like a godfather to me. He was the man that you went to for wisdom and seeing his daughter and husband here, uh, Christina and Jim, that's great, along with Jay and Bill Keegan and our, our junior godfather, Jack Othelette and Martha here. Um, but it's, you know, we had a chance, whatever it was, 130 days ago, to come and announce the Play 60 grant. We doubled the NFL, but it really, was to help you young folks exercise in at least 60 minutes a day. And this is our hometown, and, and we really love being part of it. And once again, I remember actually when I came here, your band was playing, and I read a tweet, and I wound up funding the sound system for the jazz folks. So I, I, I hope you all listen to that. Anyhow, you bring your enthusiasm to our game this Sunday night. All of you, I hope you can stay up at least till kickoff at 8.30 and make a lot of noise and cheers like you did. And you're all so lucky to be in this great town with the great leadership. You know, you have a school chairman here of Deb Spinelli and this uh, uh, Tina Ballinger who works with her and all the lovely people here. This is a great break for me in my day, and I thank you very much for that warm welcome, and I hope you enjoy your playground very, very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Kraft. Thank you very much. I'd like to take a moment now to invite Mrs. Bellinger to come up and say a few words, please. Thank you, Mr. Stanton. Hello, I go school. <laughs> I am honored to be here today for the dedication of your beautiful new community playground. I have many people to thank on behalf of the Foxborough School Committee. First, thank you to the hardworking and dedicated parents of the IGO PTO who work tirelessly. I think. To, to get the ball rolling and raise the initial funding for the new playground construction. Thank you to Mr. Kraft, the Kraft Group, the New England Patriots Charitable Organization, and NFL Play 60 for the generous donation of $60,000 to enable us to complete this fabulous new playground this past summer. You are valuable community partners to Foxborough Public Schools, and we're grateful for your continued investment in our future. And thank you also, we approved the sound system donation last night. Thank you so much for that. I also would like to thank everyone who worked so hard all summer on the playground's construction. I was up and down South Street every single day and I think I saw dozens of people working very hard to make that a reality. I would like to specifically thank Mr. Chris McNamara of CMAC Concrete. <laughs> I 
and also Mr. Mike Pacella of Pacella Excavating for their generous donations of time and materials. And finally, a huge thank you to Mr. Stanton, Mr. Yukna, and Mr. Masali for overseeing the construction project and ensuring that it was ready for the first day of school. I hope you all enjoy your new playground and are out there every day playing 60. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Spellinger. Now, next I'd like to do is I'd like to invite Mrs. Debbie Spinelli, our school superintendent, to speak. Thank you, Mr. Stanton. And good afternoon, IGO students. So a lot of people are taking some time to thank a lot of people. And I want to thank the students, because you inspire us every day to do good things for you, like work together to build a new playground. So you just keep doing what you're doing, because you are pretty awesome. So clap for yourselves for a minute. So to everyone here that has made this possible, um, we really believe that there is no better place to live and work than in our wonderful little town of Foxborough. Nowhere is better. And Mr. Kraft, you continuously demonstrate to us that this really is your hometown, and you're so very generous, and I think we all have examples of your thoughtful generosity in terms of the causes that you want to support. And uh, at our last gathering here in this gym, we had an example of your spontaneous generosity. So a couple people have mentioned the tweet that started the music equipment revolution. And uh, one of the things we most appreciate is that you did that spontaneously out of the goodness of your heart because of the students who are performing here and, and how much enjoyment they bring to us, our vocal performance students. So I just wanted everybody to know, we discussed it at last night's school committee meeting publicly and we accepted the donation. But I, I do want the public to also know that Mr. Kraft had a choice of three different levels of support. So it would be this group of equipment in tier one, a second group of equipment in tier two, a third group of equipment in tier three, so that he could pick the level of support that he wanted to provide for our vocal performance students. And uh, I guess I should say, typical of Mr. Robert Kraft, he decided to fund all of it. So that meant a lot. So to everyone, who worked so hard to make this beautiful kid zone playground. I want to thank you on behalf of all of the people in the Foxborough Public Schools and Mr. Kraft, particularly to you for really making this all possible. And thank you so much. And we hope you enjoy our dedication. Thank you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, I get the best part. I get to invite some IGO students up who are part of our presentation today. And I get to hold the microphone so that you can talk about what you love about the IGO playground. Am I right? So do you each have something different to say? Okay, so will you say your first name and then say what it is you plan to say? So well, we want to know your first name. Are you ready? Okay, we're going to start with you, sweetie. What's your first name? Maeve. Hey, Maeve, what do you have to say about the iGo Playground? Do you have something in here? What is it? Oh, <gasps> what does this say? We... we love to slide down the slide. Yes, we do. That's wonderful. <laughs> say right there. Perfect, Maeve. What's your name, sweetie? Emma. Emma, what do you want to say about the iGo Playground? We like to go on the stepping stones. I saw somebody on that yesterday. <laughs> Wonderful job, Emma. What's your name? Caroline. Ooh, Caroline. Do you have something else you'd like to talk about? What? We love to play with the games on the climbing structure. Wow, the games on the climbing structures. What good readers you are all in kindergarten. What's your name? Callan. Callan, what are you going to say? We don't even get hurt when we fall on the spongy surface. Don't even hurt. How many people have fallen on the spongy surface? Is it nice and soft? Oh, that's the best. What's your name? Alex. 
Alex, what do you have to say? We like to go on the swing. Perfect. Summer. Go ahead. We like to play on the spinning chair. The spinning chair. That makes me dizzy watching you, I have to admit, but everybody's always on it, so that's a good one. Liam. Liam, what do you have to say? We like, I like to play in the sandbox. Sandbox. What's it called? And last, wrapping up a great presentation is? Jackson. Jackson. We love to play on the bus. Awesome job. Wow. You did a great job. And Mrs. Stanton, thank you for giving me the most fun part. I appreciate it. Okay, let's go this way. Let's give those kindergartners a big round of applause. Great job. All the different parts. So boys and girls, our school is named after a very special individual. It's someone who made an impact on the town of Foxborough. Someone who worked with others and who really became a role model. When I look at this playground, his legacy is inside of this playground. I look at the partnerships that were formed between the IGO PTO, between Mr. Kraft, the New England Patriots Charitable Foundation, the Play 60 program, and so many others who actually made this dream become a reality. Because without the partnerships, and as Mrs. Spinelli said, Foxborough, it's one of a kind. And we are so fortunate to live in a town that has so many great people working together. And Mr. Kraft, I'd just like to take a moment to thank you once again for your generosity. We are able to almost double the size of the playground because of what you were able to do. And to see where it was before and where it is now, it's just tremendous. And every day, as a result of your generosity in the families, you bring smiles and, and happiness and obviously a healthy lifestyle to our children. So thank you very much for all that you did. And I do just very quickly in closing, there are a couple individuals I have to thank. Uh, Mr. Kraft's team, Donna Spigarello. Uh, thank you, Donna, for amazing working with you the past few months. <laughs> Brett Sarwin and Dan Murphy, Dan McPherson, Stacy James and Christy Berkeley, and also Jess Stevenson. On the school side, there are so many individuals, including all the gentlemen on our buildings and grounds crew, who you don't see the work that they do, in the tree and highway department, everything that they did. And if I had to pick sort of one MVP for this project, it's our business manager, Mr. Bill Euchner, all that he did. Mr. Euchner, you're back there. Thank you very much. And now what we're going to do is, this is impromptu. Excuse me, Mr. Stanton, you've done such a good job planning this, but so many people here think some of you that perhaps there was one aspect of the planning that you didn't know about. We just wanted to take a moment to thank our captain of Team IGO, Mr. Stanton, for all that he's done for us. And the students have a few things they'd like to say. Because you make us smile every day. Because you taught us the IGO way. Because you help us do our best in school because we think you are really cool. On, on, be, on behalf of all the staff at the Igo School, we'd like to give this to the number one fan of our beloved Patriots and our team captain. And there's one other guest today, um, and he's actually going to help us open, officially open the IGO School program, playground. His name is Danny Nickerson. And Danny, when we think of this playground, we're fortunate where we get to use it every single day, but it truly is a community playground with all the ball fields here. So a little bit, Danny and some of the VIPs that we have here, we're actually going to cut the ribbon and we're going to have Danny officially open the IGO School Playground. So Danny, I'm not sure if he's in here. We just want, back here. 
Danny, thank you so much for joining us. Let's give Danny Nickerson a big round of applause and his family. Thank you. And boys and girls, take a seat. I want to tell you, and I've told you this before, many reasons I go to school, in my opinion, it's the greatest school in the world. 400 are sitting on the floor, and then look around here, all these other reasons. Thank you for all that you did. You did a great job today. One final round of applause for everybody up here. Thank you. We'll see you later on, everyone. Okay, ready to go? Let's go, baby. Cut. Cut. Yeah. Danny, give me a shot. All right. Nice shot. Nice Thank you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>